Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Desserts Party. Today I'll be demonstrating how to create this fun Valentine's Day ombre cake with pearls and rosettes. I've got a six inch base here that I'm using. It's already been filled and crumb coated. Here I'm creating a final layer of frosting. The recipe for the buttercream will be listed in the eye icon and in the description box below. Starting off nice and pale, leading into a light pink, a dark pink for the center, and then back out the same way. Smooth it out till you're happy with the finish. You might find little pockets here and there. Fill in those spaces with the same color as you go, remembering to try to maintain that ombre shape. So you might have to enter with a little bit more light pink underneath, etc. Once you're happy with the finish, you can take your 1M piping tip and create those rosettes. I start with one star dollop right in the middle and then I draw a circle around that to create my rosettes. I wanted to keep it in the middle but I didn't want it to be too linear so I am alternating one at the top, one at the bottom, just trying to make it kind of a random-ish to give it a bit more interest. And then in between those spaces to really help focus that shape, I'm filling in with some white buttercream buds with a number 10 circular piping tip. For the insides, I've used a smaller circle tip and then I've gone in with a yellow buttercream frosting. I'm dipping the actual tip into the dollop and then squeezing to create that blossom. You could also do a baby pink color or a baby kind of pastel turquoise would have looked really nice here too. Take a leaf tip and number 352 will do the job and some green buttercream creating little leaves at the top and bottom of your rosette formation here. Try to angle them in different directions to make it look a little bit more interesting. Pop it into the fridge to set and then take your four inch top tier and repeat that ombre style buttercream effect again. Smoothing it out, filling in pockets as I go. And then when I'm happy with the finish, I'll bring that lip of frosting at the very top towards the middle of the cake to flatten it out. While your buttercream is still nice and wet, add on any edible decorations. So I've gone with little tiny silver beads. I've concentrated them towards the base of the cake. And then to make them a little bit more wispy and spread out, I've taken it onto the turntable, grabbing a few with my finger and just placing it gently onto the cake. For extra interest, I've taken a next size up and just placing them all over the cake individually. Into the freezer she goes this time for about 10 minutes, adding the dowels cut flush at the top of the cake into my bottom tier. These are inserted to support the weight of the top tier. Stick them together with a little bit of buttercream and then create a pearl border at the base of each cake tier. This was using the number 10 piping tip again. And that's it. Your really fun two tier style Valentine's Day cake is complete. I really love the ombre effect, especially when you're coupling it up with a row of rosettes. For some reason, it just really pops that much more. It's just really satisfying. I hope you guys enjoyed this design and give it a go. If you do, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can see your awesome creation as well. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.